Now, Jimmy, this is the M-Touch uh, from Martin Lighting, and I feel like it's bringing the hardware paradigm of like DJ controllerism into lighting control. Yeah, kind of. Look, we've got the uh, M-Touch connected mm. into MPC here, which is running on just my old laptop. Mm. Um, you can actually use this as an extension wing for uh, like an M1 console mm. or an M6. Um, it connects up with one USB lead. It's bus powered, so I plug that in. It'll take a second to acquire, and there you go. Fully running. Um, look, MPC is kind of worthy of a mention here because it's free to download mm -hmm. and it comes with one universal control already enabled. And they don't even care if you use someone else's widget for that. Uh, but what you do get when you attach Martin hardware is you get more universes of control. So yep. there is a DMX output on the side of the M-Touch, of course. Um, we've got Artnet options and we can add Martin nodes mm -hmm. to get more outputs again from MPC. Mm. So you've got two universes off and running. Now where MPC would really shine is that instead of uh, Jimmy's aging PC here, you use it with something like a Microsoft Surface Pro. So you've got multi-touch. Touch, touch surface, yeah. yeah. You want, ideally, because there are still functions that you want to be able to use, uh, access on the screen, things mm. like selecting your fixtures, for instance. Once you select your fixtures, then you can go over here and control intensity and pan and tilt and all your various parameters using the force faders. Mm. But you do need to be able to select the fixtures to start with. And if you build you know, your palettes, then it's just a case of tap it on the screen, then program, then record, dump it on a fader. Mm. We've got multiple pages of playbacks. We've got 10 playback faders, and you can record those as inhibits or scenes or uh, chases, whatever you want. Mm. Um, look, it's a cool little surface, and, and like you really couldn't want a more portable solution than this. Yeah, so this plus, a, say, a Surface, as we mentioned before, kind of fit in a laptop We'll, we'll pull a box out that yeah. we're using to hold it up so you can see it. And we'll hold the whole system up. You can hold that part of it up. So that that's a whole lighting control system. Yeah, two universes. Um, which is pretty amazing. And if mm. you used a Surface, indeed, it would only get smaller and lighter. Yeah. And I think this is, uh, as you say, it's reflective of, of the fact that whereas you know, perhaps in a DJ situation, you're once like around turntables and mixers and mm. lots of vinyl and stuff. Now people just take their, you know, their controller and their laptop. Mm. And that's essentially what this is. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's limited solely to places like nightclubs. I think schools, little churches, anywhere that you need lighting control mm. uh, at a reasonable level, but you don't have a lot of real estate to afford to it yep. um, or a lot of huge budget. Like this is really good value too. Yeah, I also see people maybe new to lighting coming up through so students or people in communities that would be more used to this kind of operational paradigm from music production. You know, mm. I mean, how many people started off as the DJ or music kid and then went on to do, be the lighting kid? You know? Yeah, guilty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, look, I think they've done well with it and it's nice to see some like kind of quite out of the box thinking there. Yeah, agreed. So that's the M-Touch. Look, thanks very much for watching the review. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.